Hello, welcome to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald and that was my wife, Leah. What we're going to go do right now is grab the tractor, take the grapple off of it, and put the bucket on. So follow us along while we do that. This is the grapple. It, it opens up and grapple stuff. I'll show you it here in a second. So here's the deal. I, I built this alleyway right here so we can move pigs from one paddock to another paddock without them having to get out. But I didn't make it wide enough for the tractor to get in. 
So it's kind of making it a little harder for us to get these wood shavings into the paddock here to put on their poo. What I do is I use wood chips that we got from a tree trimmer and we put it on the bathroom areas whenever it gets a little smelly to uh, uh, break down the, uh, the organic material. And it creates a compost, but uh, uh, when I built this, paddock, the, this alleyway, I didn't make a way for the tractor to get all the way up into there. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these two T-post clips. There's one here and one at the bottom so I can make this gate uh, fence so I can open it up and get the tractor all the way up to the uh, uh, the actual paddock fence. <laughs> Are you in heat? She might be in heat. Uh, yeah, I think. Go get, oh, go get the. We need to go get the hog mate. Go get the hog mate. Go get the hog mate, please. <laughs> so. December 3rd, December 3rd, 2023, Miss Piggy is actually in standing heat right now. She is not moving when I put my weight on, I can put my entire weight on her. She's locked up, she's not moving. So she could be bred right now if we had the genetic material to breed her right now. Yeah, mark the calendar. So what it is, is there's pheromones that are emitted from male pigs, which we do have a male pig here. It's her own son, actually, though. Uh, but uh, um, also, she's attracted to Jonah and me also. We, we, we are her people, basically, so uh, during this time that she is uh, uh, in heat, uh, it causes her body to lock up. Like she literally locks up, like her whole uh, body locks up and her uterus locks up. Uh, and it basically makes it to where um, the genetic material can be deposited in, in the correct area of her body to have piglets. So I was looking for this day, actually. We're, we're, I was wondering when this day was gonna be again. Yeah, it, ha it happens every three weeks that this, this goes on. So uh, here in three more weeks, we should be able to see again when she's in standing heat. Now we could tell by the way she acted with us. Uh, okay, there she's coming out of it. She's coming out of it now. But we could tell by the way she acted that she was in heat when she saw both me and Jonah in the paddock. We didn't have to spray the uh, hogmate. That is a fair, a concentrated version of the pheromone that the Mel pigs excrete. Again, I've said this before, and I'm gonna say it again. Pigs are actually very clean animals. Gone are the days that my mom could tell me that my room looked like a pigsty because, well, this pig pen here is actually very clean. She has her bathroom area, she has her sleeping area, and she has her lounging area. This back here is her bathroom area. Yeah, pretty much the back half of this paddock is her, her pooping area. Her bath, we call it her bathroom. Whoops. And we're just putting a layer of a uh, mulch over all the excrement. <laughs> <laughs> Loud. 
I am clearing the fence along the electric wire to prevent snapping and shorting out the electric fence because our breed of pig let pigs like to dig and root so in turn they push the dirt the tree limbs up, up against the fence so then it starts snapping and all that fun stuff so I'm trying to clear it Get all the fussies out of them. Oh, it's on purpose, it's popping right here. that Phoenix was coming to us. Well, they just passed us up. Yeah. It says it was out for delivery yesterday, but they didn't say anything on it. The I don't remember seeing, required. I don't, I don't remember seeing Phoenix come up to the uh, I'm gonna go to dinner with pig kisses on me. Earlier this spring, we installed this nesting box so we'd be able to access our eggs from the outside of the coop versus having to go inside, but we still occasionally get a hen or two that revolts and lays inside the coop. So we still have to check in there as well. But it helps them to stay cleaner. I think it's time that we need to clean the actual nesting box cover or the thing that's in here, but our little, our little eggs from our Rhode Island Reds. Let's see, how many we got in here? We got quite a bit here today. We got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we need to clean this thing in here soon. 11, 12, I think I'll... I'm just nine, so that's all. 11, sorry, 12. 13, here's a nice size one. I mean, I can't even put my hand around it. Let me say 14, 15. 14. 14, I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. 15, 16, all right. Actually, can we take this thing out from here or does it need to take it? Oh, this is the leaf, I thought it was a but yeah, we need, to, we need to clean that out. That'll help reduce some stuff. And then we'll close this baby up so others can't get in or get out. Uh, here's someone in there. Okay, we'll go back inside. Oh, there's a couple. They want to try to escape. But you guys are so messy, you know that. Okay, get off of there. Uh-oh, what's this? You guys are destructive. There's an egg right there. Get off of there. Get off. Get off. We always need to close the, this so that way they don't get roost on there. Looks like we need to do some cleaning. Okay, I can't. Yeah. Hi. Uh-huh. Okay, let me see if I can grab this egg that they stuck over here in this nasty corner. Oh, the battery's getting low. Oh, gross. Okay.